What is up, everybody? I'll be in front of the camera in a second. I'm just grabbing a disc. All right, all right. Welcome to the back 10. I guess there is 10 holes in the back here at Defuniac. That's right. Uh, we are doing a around and beautiful Defuniac Springs, Florida in defunct disco land. I have my Latitude 64 Cenus. This is hole 10. It's 175 feet. I'm gonna throw straight at it. I normally go out and around to the right, but I'm just gonna throw straight at it to get prepared for the uh, the birdie fest that is the back nine, 10 holes. Uh, we are currently sitting seven down through nine holes. Go check out the front nine footage. Sorry if you haven't, spoiler. Uh, we are looking to go double digits for sure. Uh, yeah, purpose of this video, uh, if you haven't watched the front nine, purpose of this video is just to kind of go into my head and see what I'm throwing in the off season, how I'm throwing it, how I approach some holes. So give me an example. I have my Latitude 64 Cenus. I know that it's a brick. I know I can throw it straight into this wind and it's really not gonna do anything but just go straight and stop. Let's, let's just throw it. Oh, also sorry that I'm not mic'd up while I'm doing this. I don't have a wireless mic and to mic up, then unmic, throw, mic up, it'd be a really long day. So I'm sorry, headphone users, that wind's gonna, I'm sorry. Nice and smooth. It's okay. Yeah, I know it's only probably about eight, 10 feet away, but it was slightly turned over. It's not the shot I was trying. I was trying more of a straight shot and I kind of pulled it over away. I got away with it, but now you're saying to make a putt. I demand a lot out of myself, you know. I uh, The reason why I'm getting worked up about that is because imagine if I was throwing a really hard drive or a really far drive, and instead of throwing it flat or a slight hyzer, I did what I just did. It'd probably be a thriller or be shanked off in no man's land. So when I see a little tweak like that in the throw, it drives me nuts. All right, hole 11, 160 feet. Yep, I said 160 feet, pretty sure hole. The trick with this hole is the trees down the left here catch a lot of people because the slight turn of the hole and the basket being on the right instantly makes you want to throw a turnover shot when really if you just throw something straight, you're going to land 10 feet left of the basket. So instead of trying to get under the basket, just throw it straight. Don't even worry about those trees on the left. Classic Glenn Warden. I got a gallery or something, I don't know. I turned it over. I turned it over on an ace run. I'm probably in jail, 25, 30 feet deep in the wooden jail. Not what I wanted to do. And normally I'd go with my Cenus. Ooh, excuse me, a little hiccup there. My Cenus, aka the brick, because I don't want to go far in this hole. That warden, it just it went too far. I should have done a standstill.
We got lucky there. I had a window and I hit it. All right. So hole 12, kind of see here. We got to bend a little bit to the right. I always go back and forth on throwing a putter or a sidearm. Uh, but since we are exploring the bag, I'm going to sidearm probably one of my new favorite discs. Uh, and this is thanks to Eric Oakley for turning me on to him. Yeah, that's right. It's not a felon. It is actually an anvil. I'm just going to try to smooth it down there, get one nice little skip, and it should be by the basket somewhere. Just trying to get in the circle and miss that one tree in the middle of the freeway. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's there. Absolutely love that disc. Uh, normally, I would try to finesse a fairway down there and I'd get a really aggressive skip, but having that mid hybrid approach disc that the anvil is, I love it. All right, well, that's not what I expected. I thought when I threw it, I threw it somewhere up here, but I kind of shorted it. I'm sitting circle's edge behind a tree. Gotta make a putt. Oh, that putt feels amazing. That flatter putt just goes. Oh. I know I shouldn't be that like super excited over a circle's edge putt, but I just, I'm so happy that I, I can get these wardens flatter and they just, they push. Oh, it's exciting. All right, let's see. Whew. Got that putt out of the way. We are on hole, what is this, 13? I think we are, are we 11? We're 11 through 13. And I don't know, I want to throw something different so you guys can see some more disc in my bag. Excuse me, motorcycle guy, person, thing. I'm trying to talk here. Uh, but the shot's kind of limited. What can I do? I can I have some fun with? Let's, ah, I know what to do. I know what to do, give me a second. Big Mike hooked me up with this. This old Dimax Truth, not an Emac, just a Truth. I'm gonna sidearm this. I think I should move you guys to the other side seat pad. Nah, you'll be all right. I got a little jumpy there. The truth almost jumped in the basket. Big bite, thank you. Oh, it was so smooth. Almost went in. You see that? That was crazy. Oh, the truth. Almost went in. It must have hit like that tree stump right there and it almost jumped in. Thank you for the birdie, Big Mike. All right, hole 14. What do we got? 200 feet. We got a raised basket. Basket is over that bush right there. Uh, man, I, I debate on this. I go sometimes putter straight at it, sidearm to the left, like over here. Uh, I don't know, 200 feet. You know what I want to do? I want to see, I want to see how well that Lucid X fell in Thummers. That's what I want. Why not? I'm gonna throw one that's gonna go down into the ground. It's gonna hit the ground, hopefully, like this, and then it's gonna go, whoo, little rainbow skip. Sound effects probably won't be included. Oh, 
was okay. I think it's safe to say that it did just about everything I wanted to do. It didn't get the big rainbow flare, but I knew it was gonna go right. And I knew it was gonna go right hard because that's what it does. That's what that does. So, hey, we'll take the two. Let's go on to the next hole. All right, hole 15, we got 160, drop off behind the basket. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is, this is definitely birdie town on this back nine. I wanna get as much as I can and really my only option here, I mean, I could do a lot of things, but I think I'm just gonna throw the brick right at these first two trees and just have a hyzer in right at the basket, try not to go too far. That's the goal. Put it right at that white explorer, come in on those trees, hit the ground like a brick, and have me a little bitty putt. Hit the ground like a brick. Had me a little bitty putt. Oh, oh, reliable. How I've missed the... Get in the hole. i tell you, you guys, you longtime viewers know that me and my Cenus, I have three or four of them. Uh, I had an old yellow one that I had probably for two years throwing it. It looks all kinds of fun. But it's just so reliable. You can throw it in the rain, throw it in the whatever. It can hit as many trees. It's just gonna hit the ground, sit, go straight, not go too far. Man, get you a Cenus. Seriously. Uh, all right. On to hole 16. This is gonna be an awkward filming position. I don't know. It's a skip shot. But I gotta bend around the corner. So I think I'm gonna set you guys up over here. Well, I want you guys to also see how I'm throwing the disc, but it's really kind of a tough angle here. I don't know. We'll hope that works. Uh, tell little man to get out here and throw with me some more. That way uh, he can help film too. What can I throw down there? Uh, we'll go with El Harpio. Try to just do one little skip and get inside a circle. 155 feet, hole 16. Lot of lift. Um, like I said, I don't know if I got interrupted or if I told you guys. Uh, somebody stopped me and started talking to me. Uh, this is birdie town. You know, if you guys didn't watch the front nine, you might think, wow, this is an easy, really easy course. Uh, it, it is easy, but it's very technical. You know, these, you miss left to right, no matter how short these holes are, you're probably not saving par. So, but if you hit the fairways, you got birdies, birdies for days. There she is. Hello, Senor Harp. Get in the hole. It's like all the kids are getting out of school. Awesome. Let's go to the next hole. All right, there's gonna be a lot of background noise on this hole because school buses are coming in swarms. But we are on hole 17. We are 15 of 17, I think. I don't know. I've I think I've lost track. Uh, we have a basket that's behind these two little guys here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see it. You might be able to see it. Uh, it's right there yeah right there i want either want to go left of this tree or just above this little bush let's go with the warden and see what happens slightly distracted kind of disappointed on that throw to be honest with you guys it's kind of eh. when i went to pick up the ward i know i'm pointing the camera away from me while i'm walking but you're on a tripod right now and it's kind of hard to 
like talk and carry your cart. So you're just gonna look forward for me, okay? Uh, I normally would throw a Cenus on a little bit of a forced over Anheuser. That way I know what it'll stable up at the end. So I try to finesse the warden. I know I'm making excuses. But now we have about a 40, 45 footer, maybe. I don't know, somewhere in that angle. And we do have a line. So can I put you guys here? Or should I put you over here? I should probably put you over here. Kid you not, everything like died. My phone died. Something like that. Hopefully that's enough. Let's try to make this putt. Gosh, bless it. Man, I'm Good. Everything died on me. Well, my phone died, so I gotta charge it. Woo! All right, we're gonna let this guy play through. Then we'll finally make the putt. That was a pretty good drive. All right, now that he's cleared out and my phone's somewhat charged, let's uh. Try to make this putt. Tree leaning over. I'll show you, I'll bring you up to the lie so you guys can see what I'm talking about. The tree leaning over uh, made me want to go to a spin putt. Let's see if I can set you guys up to where I would be looking. All right, so there's the putter here. So if I'm looking at the basket, this tree that's leaned, I don't know why, but it was in my head like I was gonna hit it. So I went with more of a spin putt. Oh, have confidence. Let's see, you know what? Let's see what happened if I would have went with a normal putt. Let's just, let's just go take a look. We'll come back here set you up maybe right here so you can see and I'm just gonna give it a normal slight hyzer putt and see what happens I know my weaknesses don't I god I know my weaknesses for some reason that that branch should not even be close in my way but i knew if i did a normal putt i was gonna hit it i don't know why maybe you can tell me why in the comment section i don't know why i think he's done with the next well he's almost done with the next hole let's head to hole 18. i kid you not let's see can i get you settled okay there is school letting out right behind me I got an officer in the road directing traffic i got teenagers over here making out behind the van I'm trying to focus to throw 290 foot hyzer throw with my truth. I'm sorry it's so loud. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I think it's starting to rain too. I really gotta do it to get done with this round. <laughs> you know what? You're gonna walk with the walk on me with the. Yeah, I can't even speak right now. Let's walk and talk down the fairway. Hopefully, it gets a little quieter by the basket. Oh my goodness! I felt like I was inside of a closet with semis running over my head. I hope it wasn't that loud for you guys. But uh, through the purple truth, you guys uh, might have seen me do a one disc challenge of that on the viewer challenges. Still looking for challenge uh, ideas on that video. I'm about to pick a winner and do his challenge. Oh, was it next week? Yeah, next week. Uh, pulled the truth a little bit more right than I'm comfortable with, but we're in the circle. I'm just hoping these trees are not blocking my putt, which let's be honest, if I'm in the circle, I should be able to straddle out around these trees, right? Okay, we're good. Let's see. Yeah, we good. Let's go ahead and tap this in and then go play hole 19. As long as my phone doesn't die. Where's my players?
Man, there's so much going on right now with the school letting out. Get like this. All right, guys. So that's the end of the video. Uh, I'm trying to hurry up for I get poured on because it's 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 trying to. I'm getting rain alerts. Actually, I can see the rain alerts coming. Uh, it's, it's, the rain's finally here. It's kicking me out. But I'm trying to remember the holes that I missed. I know I missed a putt on hole two. I'm trying to think of the other one I missed. Oh, the the turnover, the long turnover was a hole eight. I missed the putt there. Then I missed the putt on what is that, 17? So we shot 16 of 19, three missed putts, uh, basically two bad drives and a missed putt. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> if I want to excel to the next level, though, I have to make that 40 footer. I have to find a way to make those um, that's that's what's going to take me up in the ratings to get me to that next level but i'm glad that you guys made it through the round i am on my last bar of battery for my little handheld charger Whew. i didn't want to stay over there and accidentally film kids with youtube policy and parents and i'm trying to think of something else to say i think i need to get in the car and go home before I get rained on. Did you guys like the video? If so, thumbs up. As always, be dynamic. Be better than yesterday. Shout out Fly Tail for keeping my disc dry. Perv Putt 360, I have a package waiting on me at home to help me use the app even more. It may or may not be a stack of wardens. We'll find out later. Yeah, I'm out of here. This has been fun. My favorite course. What do you guys think of it? Comments. Let's chat. Tschüss.